Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we arrived in the beautiful yet somber land of Indal. After a long time coming here, we finally made it. This time, we head to the Inner Sanctum and hope Amalthus isn't done waiting on our BS. Let's go. Ventia. Hi there. I heard from the street I heard that the streets of Indal are as beautiful as a work of art. I'm here from Uriah for sightseeing. The sanctum is majestic and the streets are laid out beautifully. But the refugee camp, well, I suppose there's not much that can be done about it. Despite all the help they get, they still say they're against blades. Perhaps they should consider moving on then. We're here for a lot more than sightseeing and complaining. We'll head into the inner sanctum just up this way. Morag, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra, and I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> 500 years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters? Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. The inner praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. This is Saros Plaza. Wow, it's pretty huge. Busy too. I dare say many people gather here on religious pilgrimages. Precisely correct. Many people arrive in Indal with each coming day. And the building you see ahead is the Indaline Sanctum. Impressive isn't the half of it. How do you like it, eh? Really makes you appreciate the majesty of the Praetorium, right? Where do you get off sounding so proud, Shelled? It's magnificent. Truly magnificent. Rooms have already been made for you. You'll find them in the left as you enter the Sanctum. We get to stay in big fancy building! You are our honored guest here, after all. Quite amazing. Now then, shall we go? I initially wasn't so sure that I was into the idea of Morag joining the party when I saw it. Don't get me wrong, I thought she was a cool, cool character. One of the coolest looking characters too, and having somebody just that powerful by my side was great. Uh, she was a great rival to Rex. I really liked the subtlety of uh, Bridget's flames being blue, implying that they burn hotter than Pyra's. And there was the fact that Morag did seem kind of taken with him at first, uh, liking how independent and powerful he was the first time that they saw each other in battle. Here we have some information that we've seen before, as well as Letheria collecting. Um, I'll buy one of these just to demonstrate it. Um, it shows us where you can find items that you might need for quests. The Border Sapphire did give us some trouble. This is a way that you can learn where collectibles are without needing a guide. Now... I liked that scene, and I also liked the one where um, Neo was saying that she wasn't really sure if she considered Morag a friend quite yet, and the two of them shook hands. Now this is a pain. They've only gone- they've gone and stolen some, uh, tem uh, Timinbi roots I've been growing. WHAT?! Timinbi roots are so nutri uh, nutritious and are prized for their medicinal uses. Only a few were stolen, so it's not that big of a deal, but I reckon it was just some kids playing tricks. If so, they really need to be taught what's right and what's wrong. 
That's why I'm looking for help finding the suspects. Will you permit us to take care of it? We know just the people. That's the spirit. You're such a good help. Welcome to Saris Plaza. This is a place of rest and recreation for the public. We also teach children about Indol's lore and traditions here. If you're headed for the Sanctum, head straight across to the other side of the plaza. It's always worth a visit. That Merc mission gives Humanoid Hunter 2 and Swift Evasion. Swift Evasion is higher chances while moving. Probably my favorite of those movement-based buffs just because it can technically save your life and win you a fight. But kind of hearing that she wanted Rex to stay independent. It fits with how she was behaving in More Ardain where she was very critical of Rex saying she was very disappointed to see him stooping to such lowly crimes when she thought he was behind these artificial blade heists going on. I like that. I think it's really nice that it was misunderstood. Council Dougal did a very good job making the army uh, in Moradain seem very out of touch with reality, almost kind of bumbling in a way, and it gave you a good preconceived notion that Morag was a bad guy, but as you got to know her and she wanted Rex to succeed in life, I like that. What is the favorite food of Titan? Does Titan sink if it sleeps? Is it boy or girl? Me not know these things. Uh, my how deep? <laughs> wow, uh, tonal whiplash if I ever saw it, but yeah. After thinking that Morag didn't really seem like she had a lot of reason to join the party, that's a scene that I very much appreciate as I feel like it ties everything together very well. Welcome to Saris Plaza, the heart of the Praetorium of Indal. The plaza is open to citizens and visitors alike as it is a place for rest and recreation. Some use it to practice singing holy songs, some to educate our younger citizens, and some simply to sit and pray. All living together in harmony as his eminence the Praetor has ordained. Over this way, we have a gathering. Melika, that's a cool name. Ah, who are you? Oh my god, you're the girl from Ursula's Quest. Is something wrong? Oh, you're not one of the locals, thank goodness. Okay, I will not do this entire thing. My name is Melika, my mother was orphaned in the war and she raised me here in Indol. So although I'm Gormati, I've never actually been to Gormat. Lately, there's something that's been bothering me. I feel like someone's spying on me all the time. I was accepted into the choir of Indol just recently, and I think that's when it started. Are you all right? Morag, sort out any problems. Well, it's driving me a little crazy. That's not good <laughs> and sensitive. Yes, we will help you identify them. We will sort this all out. You would, really? Thank you so much. Um, maybe you could start by asking around among the locals. Uh, just bring me up casually in conversation and see if anyone knows anything. I'm sure the culprit must be someone living in the city. Otherwise, I have no idea why they would. I'll be waiting right here, so please let me know if you find anything. Melika the Chorister! The girl from Ursula's Quest is going to be singing for people. I think that's a far bigger concern than whoever might be spying on her. Uh, we'll go over here, talk to you, Surge. I knew a Surge at one point, he was cool. I ask you something? Melika, what about her? I don't know about that much about those fancy choir types. Though, I could tell you a bit about the choir itself. Apparently, once you join the choir of Indol, you're basically set for life. I mean, it's an official branch of the Praetorium, so naturally they get special treatment. Us refugees don't get much in the way of opportunity, so lots of us folk are dreaming to join up. Of course, I don't m didn't make it to pass the audition. Mom and Dad were so disappointed. Anyway, that's about all the info I got. Ouch, she got in and you didn't, uh... I'd be ashamed. We'll go over this way, talk to you, Roni. Might we ask you something? You're looking for info on that choir girl, Melika. Hmm, sorry, but I really don't know a lot about her. Maybe you should try asking that Orion girl, Albina. She's a refugee, and she kept saying she was going to make it into the choir no matter what. But I haven't seen her around lately. Not sure what she's up to. That's about all I know, I'm afraid. If I can go back to how much I liked that scene of Morag saying why she was coming with us, she only started traveling with us after Fen Lenorn showed up and she deduced the Praetorium wants that power for itself. It runs very deep. Huh. I don't climb all of the stairs, I cheat by not climbing five of them. Evening is upon us. It no, seems. what are you? Ah. Have to stay cautious. Snot nosed kids having bedtimes, how dare they? Rise up against your parents and protest bedtime, am I right? Maybe we ask you about something. You're not like that girl, are you? I guess I can tell you then. There's this girl I've seen spying on Melika a lot lately. There were some nasty looking guys with her too. I tried to get closer and find out what she was up to, but she gave me the slip. 
Wish I could tell you more, but that's all I've got. Thanks. Getting unusually dark, I must say, for just some singer girl having a stalker. Now that I think about it, there's a lot of really bad ways that could go, so never mind. Bequa. Can I talk to you from a style in place? Can I do it? Can I do it? Uh, I'm so glad I'm using my time wisely in this situation. Yeah! Look at me! I feel like I'm floating off of the ground. <laughs> Ouch! Look at his shins! Oof! Oh! What, you want to know about Malika? She joined the choir of Indal recently, you know? She was the only one in this camp who passed the edition. I like how Tora and Poppy are playing around in the water during this, and I thought I was the most out of touch with this. It's really uh, prestigious to be in the choir. Only the very best singers are allowed to join. When you're in the choir, you get to sing at official ceremonies, like when they're moving the Titan and stuff. Is that all you wanted? Then see you, see you around then. Suspended in the air by my shin being impaled. That is painful. It's a uh, spare Rex the misery of being, even though that would make you bleed to death if you were to pull something like that out. And go talk to you. Hi again. We have just returned. So, um, how did your investigation go? So the thing is, so there was an Orion girl in the refugee camp who was trying to get into the choir just like me? Albina, Albina. I can't say I recognize the name, but there was only one spot at the uh, last audition. I guess because I passed, she must have, indeed. Um, could you come with me for a bit? I'd like to meet this Albina and talk to her in person. Are you all right? It'll be all right. I can handle it. As long as you're with me, I mean. I want to go talk this over properly. Come on, let's go. That's one way to explore a plaza. Um, hello. Are you Albina? Melica? I never thought you'd come to me on your own. I was just wondering when the best time would be to go and take you out. Take me out? You don't mean you want to kill? Huh? I thought you knew that already. Isn't that why you hired these drivers to protect you? No, these are just some kind people who offered to help. I just wanted to come and talk to you. What's to talk about? If it weren't for you, I would have made it into the choir. I hate you so much, you witch, you pig, you dirty little, ugh! If I were, if it weren't for you, if I could just get rid of you, I could have everything I deserve. And I could get out of this hellish life and live like a respectable person. I could give my mom and dad the rest and comfort they need. But violence isn't going to solve any, oh, but it will. And it's going to change my life for the better. I am a refugee from Uriah, you know. I know people in the mercenary biz. And once I kill you and join the choir, I'll have the cash to pay them off. Once I explained that, they were glad to help. So sorry, but I'm gonna have to make all you all, all of you disappear. Help, please, leave it to me. I've got news. Ursula, now is not a good time. We're trying to stop your best friend from dying. I want you to pay attention to the icon in the lower right. You see how it flashed when I got away from the enemy? That is optimal range. If you stand far enough away from an enemy, they will get hit in just the right way that you get a 20% buff to a blade's auto attack stat. If I switch to rock here, um, all weapons have different optimal ranges. Whenever you plank off an enemy, it shoves you away. So it's a reward for staying in position and attacking from just the right distance away. Now, ironically, with what a good blade she is otherwise, Mithra has an awful effective range where you have to be almost out of range of attacking to do it. And on top of that, you see that a rolling smash inches you forward? Double spinning edge, if you have it, also moves you away from the optimal range, meaning that you have to reposition yourself constantly to take advantage of this buff. A minor battle mechanic, but still a potentially important one that I still hadn't gone over. You won't be seeing me make use of it too often because it's so weird. Worry not. The situation has been taken care of. We lost? What am I gonna do now? I have to join the choir or I can't, I can't take any more of this life. If it weren't for you, I, I. Albina, I don't know what kind of hardships you've been through, but I don't think it's right to join the choir in search of an easy life. Do you think Praetor Amalthus would want people to sing at sacred ceremonies for a reason like that? What are you saying? I'm the one in the wrong here? 
Oh, I get it. You just think I'm not good enough to make it in the choir. Yes, that is what I think. Just because you got lucky. You've got some nerve. I'm not trying to boast about my own skills. I just think... Go on, say it. Convince me if you think you can. I don't think the Choir of Indal exists just to provide wealth to its own members. I think the Choir exists to enrich the hearts of everyone who hears it, its own members included. To join the Choir, you need to be able to wish for the happiness of others and turn those feelings into song. Those feelings are why the songs of the Choir resonate with the people. You can't bring happiness to anyone by singing while thinking only of yourself. That's why, um, I don't think... Oh, I don't know how to say this. Well, how am I meant to argue with a speech like that? Damn it, Malika. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm the one who should be sorry. It really wasn't my place to say all that. You know the stupid thing? I love singing too. I really do. So I guess I'll try again. I'll sing for them again. And this time, I'll get through to them. Maybe that way, I can get the best of both worlds. A happy life and a happy heart. You just wait though. One day, I'll make sure, I'll make everyone see that I'm a better singer than you. <laughs> I guess I should look forward to that then. Looks like everything worked out. Thank you so much for all your help, everyone. It's no problem at all. That was a lot scarier than I could have ever, ever could have thought, but I'm glad I managed to make it up with Albina in the end. This is for you, as thanks, I hope you'll come and listen to us sing sometime. That quest was a lot more involved than I expected it to be, and it was a lot more serious than I thought it would be at the beginning, though, but I don't know if everyone deserves to be forgiven like everything's hunky-dory. That was pretty serious stuff. I mean, she tried to assassinate! Wow! Oh, do you do? Anyone else? Bravery level seven. Truth level three. Oh, man, anyone else? Oh, Gorg! Man, all right, I was gorging myself on this power. Look at this. How close is Mithra? Oh, she's still a ways away. Yeah, she joined pretty late compared to the others. Though, not later. Oh, Bridget of the Love Source, that's why. Uh, Pyra. Ooh, so close. Another dish in my repertoire. And I have grown. What do you have? You're very far away from getting some of these. We can't level up these specials all that way. I'm, I'm kind of glad that we have one of these um, story blades that has uh, all of her levels unlocked because this really shows what I was saying before, that pouch item spamming to get all of your skills leveled up all the way might not work out so well because they're gonna hide some of these behind titans you haven't been to yet. Um, I said this a lot early on though, but I think this shows it very well. That one's really easy. Yeah, they're straight up Discovering landmarks, we're not gonna be able to do that till we find a lot more places. Her mineralogy is the only skill that we're even capable of maxing out now, except for Warpire. Well, okay, to be fair, Warpire's a really flippin' good skill. I like this one a lot. Nick, this very nice. What are you loafing on? Using a blade? <laughs> I've just gotten that unlucky with random chances, seriously. Maybe Tora's AI just switches really frequently and I need to have a battle where I just have you on so you're activating blade arts constantly. Uh, you need to use your favorite dessert four times. I ran all the way to Alba Cavendish and back just so Poppy could have dessert when we were actually 50 feet away from entering the sanctum. Sorry, Amalthus. <laughs> This man, whoever he is, must be pulling his hair out over how long we have taken to visit him. Fiona! It's like Fiona. It's like saying Fiona, but when you have a hairball in your throat. Fiona! <laughs> Finally, I am here, the Indoline Sanctum. It's everything I imagined, one gigantic work of art. I told my husband in Argentum I had an important trade deal to negotiate. He'd never have let me visit otherwise. Ah, I wonder how much the carvings on a single pillar here are worth. Oh, but that's the merchant in me talking. Silly me. You can't put a price on this kind of magnificent artwork. I don't think I checked every skill on QT now that I think of it. No. This will be useful for our adventure. Everything else we'll just get from playing normally, so that's it. Okay. As we pass by all these very valuable pillars every which so way. Late? 
Don't worry. I'll protect you from the scary dark. Looks like it's about time for us to check into our rooms. Wow, pretty impressive. Ah, oh, he didn't have more to say than that. Lame. <laughs> I get way too into doing that stupid joke. Great Creation oh, Cloister. This is where we were going. I hear it used to be a Great Creation Shelter. That word is ruined for me. I can't hear anything else. I'm sorry. Amalia. Lady Fan told us you would be coming. You must have endured great hardship on your journey. Please, feel free to use the chambers we've prepared for you. Mithra doing her squats before bed. Let's rest. Enjoy your stay. Your audience with the Praetor is scheduled for tomorrow in the Sanctum's audience chamber. If there is nothing else, I shall take my leave. Okay. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Good night. Night. Hey, Pyra. So, Adam, what kind of a person was he? Should I ask Mithra? No, no, it's fine. I was just wondering. He was incredible. Incredible? In Mithra's memories, I mean. I knew him only very briefly before I went to sleep. But Mithra can't remember a more genuine, courageous person. She had never met a more wonderful man. He sounds like a real hero. Mm-hmm. And you remind her of him a lot. Oh, I do, do I? Great. Wait, what? <laughs> I suppose Mithra won't be very pleased I told you that. Pyra, come on. I agree with her, you know. <laughs> Oof, it's cold this morning. Miss Fan. Has somebody got a little crush? Nia, what are you doing here? Early riser. Always have been. Oh, I see how it is, you. I wonder what Pyra and Mithra would think. Hey, no! You've got the wrong... Just... Just what? Go on. I don't know. I thought she looked... sad. Oh, good morning, you two. There's still some time before your audience. Sorry, we just woke up really early. Ah, I see. That's a pretty nice mural. Very... grand. It depicts the creation of all rest. They say this mural was painted long ago, when the nation of Indol was still new. Oh, you've been looking at it for a while? They're missing. What do you mean by they? My memories. I know that I must have been around since this mural was first painted, or even earlier, but I don't remember that time at all. Well, you are a blade. I don't know who I was, or what I did. And I'd really like to. Mithra's lived for an awful long time. Maybe she'll know something about you. Mithra called me... Haze earlier. Could it be possible that she met me somewhere before? Sometime in the past? Do you want to ask her later? Could I? Thank you very much. No, no need to thank me. You helped us too. 
Look at you going all red. I'll tell Pyra I swear. What? I told you it's not like that. We'll see. Hey, relax. You'll give yourself wrinkles. A driver and blade are one in body and soul. It was you who told me that. Well, the other you, I mean. You mean Mithra? Of course. It was 500 years ago, so perhaps you have forgotten. Oh, I do remember saying that. So it's true? But how could she possibly remember? You're wondering how I could remember words from so long ago? What's this? You could call it a diary, I suppose. It contains details about my past lives. It's the only way I have to remember. When we return to the core crystal, our minds are wiped clean of all memories. Though a blade's life is eternal, our effective lifespans as individuals are far shorter than a human's. You know, it's not just me. A lot of blades try to preserve their memories in journals like this one. Even though it's often futile. After all, a core crystal cannot protect a diary. Usually, the volume is lost to us, along with our memories. I'm fortunate amongst blades. I'm passed down as an imperial treasure and recorded in official chronicles. Uh, Bridget? I don't know where your true intentions lie. I can only make an educated guess. But Rex, he is your driver. If you truly trust him, I would advise you tell him everything. If you can't do that even for him, you shouldn't be his blade at all. I just... <sighs> if you care about him, it's even more important. I know what it's like to be afraid of rejection. I really do. But... If you don't tell him now, you're just storing up pain for later, not making it easier. The way you say that... You really do see right through me. Well, we go back a long way, as you recall. And we're both blades, after all. 